Hi, this time I would like to tell you about uh, the topic which is called Pareto's Principle. Um, not even the topic which will be the longest one to discuss, but something that from my perspective we use mostly in our not only business life, but something that we can call our everyday private life. Pareto's Principle, that's a type of rule which is called also 80-20. That's the type of rule in which it illustrates us on which areas of work we should concentrate. So once again, the decision-making process. And here, just giving you the example of how it looks like. Many times when you work in group uh, on your project, there is a limited time. You've spent already four hours working on something. You have only 30 minutes left. And still, few things are missing. There is a key decision how we are going to work. Some of the people from the group, they will say, let's continue to do as much as possible. There is another group of people who would say like, okay, let's finish in here, make the general conclusions, but we have to present it in the end to the people who are going to listen to us and who are going to make the final decision. So let's spend this last part of work just on preparing the presentation. Why it is important in here and how we can illustrate it? Because in the end, when these people are going to present the results of their work and what they did, we can say that the biggest impact from the people who are going to listen to that is just generated by what they can see on the presentation and what they can hear in there. Well, many times when the students are just making their presentations and they are presenting what is done in there, sometimes in the end of their lectures, they almost finish the project, they're just selecting who's going to present it, uh, you. And you have someone sitting in there and just saying, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot read it, uh, what was written in there? Well, this is exactly what Pareto's principle is. Because if I don't know how hard you are working, the impact that I'm generating is based on this presentation. 80% of the impact that I have is based on 20% of the time that you could spend just on presenting the presentation. And that's exactly what you should do in here. So divide your work and think which 20% of the time generates 80% of the result. Another example is if you're managing the shop, you can spend 80% of the time on doing everyday basic things, like checking every day in the morning if there is a proper amount of fresh bread appearing to the shop, etc., etc. That's important. But it does not generate the main long-term strategy and not influence on that, because that is generated by the plan of how you can uh, build the marketing strategy, how you can develop yourself. Mostly, we are super limited by time, so you have to decide. I will concentrate on that 20% that matters, because it generates 80% of the result. What to do with the rest? Of course, it has to be done. But you can delegate it to others. What is delegation? You can find it in other materials. But in here, basing on that, just to remember, with every work, we have this 80-20 rule. Of course, it's not always precisely 80-20%, but it tells you, hello, let's focus on what gives you the biggest percent of the results. We can also look on that from a different perspective. Sometimes you might be surprised that there is a huge part of work which generates like 10% of the project, first 10% and the last 10% of the project. It consumes 80% of the time. Why? Because it's building the team, filling all the documents, paperwork, collecting money, applying for the money. That's first 10%. Last 10%, writing all the reports, summing up the work, sending all the documents. This might consume majority of the time. And here, this Pareto's principle just tells you, be aware of that. Remember, it might look like that, because our work is not always divided in the agenda precisely according to the time. So, summing up, Pareto's principle, which might be called differently 80-20 rule, is just something that tells you, find and focus on the part of the work which generates the biggest results or implies mostly on the results. The rest, find the rest, delegate it to the other people just to be sure that it's done. But concentrate on the aspects which are most important to you. Thank you.